If you look in the mirror, you say his name five times. Her death will be a tale to frighten children. I'm sorry, kids. I don't believe in fairy tales. Welcome back, Mythheads. The tales of the Boogeyman are likely some of the oldest urban legends in folklore and history. Pretty much every culture of people has their own take on the classic Boogeyman story. The Boogeyman is most commonly a mythical figure made up by parents in order to get children to behave. This is really the main idea behind the Boogeyman. It can vary in appearance and background story in different cultures and countries, but the one thing in common old Boogeyman tales have is that it's a terrifying creature out to get misbehaving children. It's the monster under your bed or hiding in your closet, hungrily waiting in the shadows. The word boogeyman possibly originates from the Middle English word bug, which can mean something frightening, or more specifically can mean hobgoblin or scarecrow. Boogeyman may also be related to the word bugbear, which was used to describe a terrifying bear creature that frightened or hunted small children in the woods. There was an Italian play titled The Bugbear in 1565 about this creepy monster. In some Latin countries, the boogeyman is known as Hombre del Costal, or Hombre del Saco. The sack man, or sometimes called bag man, is a man with a sack on his back, with which he captures disobedient children. The bag man is a tale common to Europe as well, in countries like Poland, Armenia, and Hungary. In North India, Boribaba, or Father Sack, similarly has a sack for capturing bad kids. Depending on the country, the sack man will either sell or eat the children he has captured. Baba Yaga is the Russian and Slavic version of the Boogeyman, an evil witch that lives in the forest. She's sometimes described as living in a hut sitting on giant chicken legs, and she also enjoys eating humans. Some Latin cultures and Mexican Americans have another version of the Boogeyman, El Cucuy. Parents will tell their children that if they don't go to sleep or behave, Cucuy will come and take them away. Social sciences professor Manuel Mendaro says that according to popular legend, El Cucuy is a small humanoid with glowing red eyes that hides in closets or under the bed. Cucuy is similar to El Coco, which comes from Spanish folklore. El Coco originated in 17th century Spain as a rhyme or lullaby for children about a monster who will come and get them if they do not sleep. Portuguese explorers of the time described Coco as a ghost with a pumpkin head. In Brazil, their boogeyman is Cuca, an evil crocodile woman. Wait, what? In traditional Japanese folklore, the Namahage is a demon like boogeyman creature. On New Year's Eve in the Oga Peninsula of Japan, the Namahage go door to door looking for children who have misbehaved that year. As is tradition, men wearing ogre masks portray the Namahage on New Year's Eve and actually frighten children. All these variations of the boogeyman legend have likely been around since before written history. Parents have been tricking their kids with these stories for ages. It seems a bit harsh to tell a child there's a monster out to get them, but it is one way to get them to behave or learn a lesson. So, fear not kids, the boogeyman isn't real. The boogeyman was also the nickname of an American serial killer in the early 1900s. Albert Fish, one of the most heinous criminals in history was sometimes referred to as Grey Man or the Boogeyman. He was the folklore come to life, capturing and cannibalizing young children. Add rape and murder to the equation and you've got a real life horror story. Although Albert Fish claims to have had about 100 victims, he was a suspect in only five murders during his lifetime. He confessed to three of those murders and admitted to stabbing at least two other people. Albert Fish was captured after his murder of 10 year old Grace Bud. After the young girl disappeared, Fish sent a letter to her mother in which he described the horrible way in which he killed the girl. The letter was what led the police to Fish and was all the evidence they needed. During his trial, Fish basically said God told him to do all those things. His lawyers used his long list of sexual deviancies and fetishes as a basis for an insanity plea. It didn't work. Ultimately, he was found to be sane and guilty and received a death sentence. He was executed in 1936 by electric chair. However... 
legend has it, the ghost of Albert Fish returns to New York City every year in the summer. The place where he first began his criminal career. He lurks in the alleys, a real boogeyman. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Check out the previous episodes for more urban myths. As we are a fairly new channel, your support means a lot to us. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and share our videos on Facebook and Reddit if you really want to support the channel.